Good evening, Kushbu, Asta, a couple of others as well. We'll just start in maybe a couple of uh, minutes. Let's just wait in for the others also to join in and then we can uh, take it forward. Thank you. Okay, I think I'll just start by getting to know all of you a little bit before I go ahead and talk to you about what we have um, in mind today. First of all, can everyone, I, I hope the chat box is, Tanu, is the chat box open for everyone? Tanu, if you can just uh, open up the chat box for all the students, I can't uh, hear anyone here. All right. Can you all just uh, put in a message on the chat box with respect to which grades you are in? First of all, in grade 10, you're in grade 11, grade 12. Which class are you guys studying in right now? Just put through on the chat box. Okay, I already have someone, Sayogita. Class eight, that's really early to plan for new age careers. That's good. That's good. It's very good. What about the others? Can you all hear me? Someshwar, Kushbu, Gurpreet, Sudhanshu, Swapnil, Tanya. I have so many of you all here. Asta, the Aryans there. Angel is there. What about all of you guys? Where are you guys looking at? What sort of classes are you in currently? So that I can just, you know, reorient the talk accordingly. All right. I have a class 11. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Come on, guys. You're only texting on a chat box. I'll definitely not eat you up. All right. So let's see. Uh, going ahead as well. Today's topic is new age careers. Uh, let me just introduce myself as well. Uh, my name is Anju. And uh, I handle the admissions and marketing for Rishud University. Uh, I've also been a career counselor for the last 14, 15 years now. Counseling a lot of students across various, um, you know, various opportunities in terms of various careers, whether it's their academic placements or it is professional placements and so on and so forth. I also very closely work with corporates in terms of helping them hire uh, good students, hire students or hire people who can be relevant to them as well. And in today's topic uh, for new age careers, I want this to be more interactive. Someone's raised a hand. If you can just put in your question in the Q&A box or the chat box, that'll be really easy for me. And someone's by the name Samsung. If you can just change your name to what your name is, it'll help me identify you as well. Um, for today's topic for new age careers, obviously the idea is that we talk about various career options that are there. And I see a lot of you are in your pre-final years, you're in your final year of schooling as well. So quickly again, I'm going to again ask all of you all to use the chat box and tell me what sort of career options are you looking at? What are the sort of careers that are there in your mind? And again, I can reorient the topic according to you. What sort of careers are you looking at? If you can just quickly put on the chat box. Yes. Come on, guys. What happened? Good evening. Yes. Engineering. Samson says engineering. All right. What else? What are the other career options that you're looking at? 
journalism pilot okay okay doctor I have a host of people from different different backgrounds wanting to do different things that's interesting so journalism pilot ho gaya a doctor ho gaya engineering ho gaya what else what else guys that's it sabko ye char cheeze karni hai company secretary aditi thank you okay what else what else what else i'm not finding anything interesting any other interesting careers that you've thought of ki hame to aise ek aisa ek career ja ke you know focus karna chahiye or we should look at something which is very very different than what we are usually used to seeing all right let me take through a couple of things and then we will see how many of you think uh, again a couple of questions i don't want this to be um, you know a monologue so the more you interact with me through the chat box the easier it is for us to sort of take through things ahead as well um i want to know from you all can i combine can i combine let's say if you start your college and if you start an undergrad degree can i combine maybe a subject like psychology uh, with a subject like uh, business or business administration can i combine psychology and business yes no just give me a quick yes and no fastest fingers first can we combine psychology and business i have a yes i have a no if it's yes why if it's no why so people who've said yes please tell me why people who've said no as well please type in why supti says no asta says no swapnil says yes samsung again says yes samsung can you please rename yourself i don't like calling you samsung here Yes. Why? Why can we, or rather, how can we combine psychology and business? Are they two different uh, streams? Psychology usually is uh, helmed by students of humanities. If you have taken arts in 11th, 12th, 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 uh why is there an you know why do you think they can be combined aren't they very different yes guys we can understand the thinking of our customer fantastic that's a very good answer we can understand how our customer in your business we are obviously going to be working with people we are going to be working with uh different stakeholders and we can understand the way that they think which is part of uh you know understanding human behavior is part of psychology that is fantastic okay another question now a little bit more tricky can i combine business with design can i take a bba program a business program and i can combine it with design can i do that yes no yes no yes okay who else what else Yes, we can do all of that. How can we do it? What is the what is the commonality? What do we do with business and design? क्या कर सकते हैं हम लोग? Or how do we combine them? Design is very creative, very different field. Business is a very different field. Again, how can we combine them? How can we use each other's inputs? Yes, anybody? How can we use these inputs? All right. It helps us for designing advertisements. Yes, a lot of things as such. Are Uh, design as a field naturally is the understanding of aesthetics. Is the understanding of how you can creatively put across your thoughts, right? So there are various concepts like design thinking. There are various concepts like graphic designing, which you use to make ads. For example, uh, product design. You can design a product in which way? In which way? In fact, engineering and design can go together as well, right? So a lot of people who are doing engineering programs right now. some of the best universities in the or other colleges in the country like the iits have also now gone ahead and picked up courses from humanities picked up courses from business picked up courses from creativity and the idea is that we combine these elements of understanding and build through things now earlier if i take you 20 30 years back when maybe your parents were you know going through their college education and likewise agar aap unse puchhenge तो उस जमाने में बहुत सिंपल था कि आप या तो इंजीनियरिंग करो टक 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 दीज आर द फोर स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड यू गो हेड विद इट या आप कॉमर्स uh, करो 
और आपके पास बी कॉम है बीबीए है ये पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन है या आप मेडिसिन करो एंड यू हैव यू नो एन एम बी बी एस डिग्री और बीबीएस डिग्री और लाइक वाइज सो पीपल वे वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक पीपल वे वेरी फोकस्ड वॉट वी कॉल इन एजुकेशन एज वॉटर टाइप स्पेशलाइजेशन एज स्पेशलाइजेशन जो बहुत ही ज्यादा टाइप थे जिसमें आप बाहर से कोई और पर्सपेक्टिव नहीं डाल सकते आप सिर्फ और सिर्फ उसी के बारे में सोचेंगे आप सिर्फ और सिर्फ उसी के बारे में पढ़ते थे सो इफ यू लुक एट करिकुलम ऑफ लॉर ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज इन दी ओल्डन टाइम्स Uh, you will find even IITs for that matter had a focus only on specialization. So, first year you study engineering, and then second, third, and fourth year you only focus on your area of specialization, whether it is mechanical, whether it is civics, whether it is uh, you know uh, civil engineering or whichever other aspect that is there. Uh, so that is how uh, things would be sort of developed, right? And then in India, a lot of changes started happening in education. uh in terms of the applicability of these degrees uh fun fact there are lakhs and lakhs of engineering graduates who pass out every year from the thousands of engineering colleges that we have but statistics show that not more than 20 to 27% of these engineering graduates are actually employable matlab inko hum naukriyan hi nahi de sakte for more than 70% people so naturally bain started working education started working and thinking ki there has to be a little reason now let's look at a small example if i give you uh let's say if i say that you have to go ahead and uh, solve a problem aap agar finance ke student hain aur aapne kaha ki maine to sirf finance padha hai jab aapke paas problem aata hai to will the problem come and say ki boss main to finance ka student hu main sirf finance ka hi problem aa sakta hai can you say that tomorrow let's say if you start working somewhere and you've done let's say a ca apne chartered accountancy kiya hai you have specialization in the finance area <clears throat> can you go ahead and say ki mere paas jo problem hai wo bhi sirf finance ka hi solve karunga i will not solve for any other things obviously no right when a problem comes it comes in with multiple perspectives if a problem comes in it will come in with behavioral perspective for example again in finance one way is if i put um if i ask someone एन इन्वेस्टमेंट एडवाइस अगर मैं किसी से पूछूं कि इन्वेस्टमेंट मुझे कैसे करने हैं दिल्ली में जो बंदा होगा वो बहुत अलग चीज बात करेगा चेन्नई में जो बंदा होगा वो बहुत अलग चीज बात करेगा दे विल टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स बिकॉज देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज बिहेवियरल फाइनेंस विच इज रन बाय साइकोलॉजी पीपल नॉट नेसेसरी बाय फाइनेंस गाइज बिहेवियर फाइनेंस ट्राइज टू अंडरस्टैंड की हाउ डज फाइनेंस बिहेव इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सिचुएशन हाउ डू पीपल बिहेव विथ फाइनेंस इन डिफरेंट सिचुएशन सो आई थिंक वी आर लिविंग इन टाइम्स वेर um there is a lot of interdisciplinarity available there is a lot of commonality and it comes from our nature as a person aap individually apne aap ko dekhiye i have people i mean i have aska i have urvashi i have abhijit i have aman so many of you are here look at yourselves individually jab aap apne parents ke sath hain to aapka behavior your thought process is very different when you are with your friends the way that you are are very different when you are with let's say a faculty a teacher you are very different when you are maybe representing your school in a different space your behavior is very different so we ourselves as human beings are so different in different situations how can solutions to world's problems be only singular so i think it's time that you cannot have an education degree or you cannot have an education which is very unidimensional you need to have education which is multi dimensional which means aapko alag alag cheeze sikhai jaye and at the same time you have the choice aapke paas choice hona chahiye ki agar main aaj design pad raha hu so can i combine it with psychology mujhe creatives banane hain but i also want to understand my customers thought processes and accordingly make creatives therefore i can combine design and um psychology if i want to combine entrepreneurship or business with a subject like music is it possible or is it not can i say bba ke sath music kar sakte yes no yes no i'm going to do yes or no in between just to check whether you're sleeping or you're awake yes can we do music and business together yes we can do there are students who or maybe music and mathematics together chalo business and music to ho jayega can we do music and mathematics together can you take a course in applied mathematics and take a course in music and combine them can we do that no we can't do okay arohi what else anyone else can we combine math and music i'm still waiting no 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 lot of noes we can combine math and music 
लुक एट द कॉमनिटीज बिटवीन बोथ ऑफ देम मैथ्स आप क्या बोलते हैं रिदम ड्रिवन है yes it is very rhythm driven it is very pattern driven so a lot of you all in school must have studied about geometric progressions or arithmetic progressions you have 2 you have 4 you have 6 you have 8 you have 10 you have 12 and so on and so forth right similarly music is also very rhythm driven it's very pattern driven so if you look at all of your musical instruments or all of the way that song is a song is created it has a 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 pattern so you can actually combine the two you can start a business in music and create mathematical models to explain how your business will actually do well so i think today is a time when you can turn your passion into a profession if you're very passionate about something please go ahead and explore a career within the same path fine so there's no point in doing oh sab ye kar rahe hain chalo mai bhi wahi kar leta hu everyone's doing this let me do this my entire family is full of lawyers let me become a lawyer not necessary if you do not have the passion if you do not have inclination towards that agar aapko lagta hai ki ye cheez mere kaam ki nahi hai ya mai nahi kar sakta i'll not be even if i become a lawyer i will not be a good lawyer or i will not be able to do well then i think you should start exploring what excites you a lot what you are most passionate about and then look at careers within the same thing i'll give you a small story uh, just to sort of put this in context and maybe then i would want to take in some um, you know some some questions as well this is the story of a company called as bajaj auto have you all heard of bajaj auto anyone has heard of bajaj automobiles yes no yes no come on guys fastest finger first aap log sab kbc mein har jaoge itna jaldi itna slow karoge to yes all right we've heard about bajaj automobiles it's one of the largest companies in india um and it's been in india for for years all together right look at bajaj's story before 9192 1991 92 aap log shayad pehle bhi nahi hue the around that time if you see before 9192 92, india had a very different economy india had an economy jahan pe hum log bahar se companies ko invite nahi karte the for them to come to india and set up shop right so everything used to be <coughs> within india aapko coke peena hai to coca cola nahi hota tha you had to have maybe a bond or you had uh, you know fruity or you had something like let's say parleji at that time so those were the products that were being used but india also essentially has been one of the youngest countries in the world and that is the reason why we have a lot of lot of countries still investing in us there are a lot of countries who still come and put up set up plants in us so that they can give us more and more employment because we are young people right our average age is uh, in the country is around 24 25 So around 1990, 1991, 92, uh, India's burgeoning population, such a large population it was, and uh, naturally everyone was young. Therefore, everyone needed employment, but we had very limited opportunities. The then finance minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, decided, "Let me open up the economy. Let me also invite outside companies to come in and set up shop." Now, before 91, 92, agar apko two wheeler lena hai, agar apko ek two wheeler lena hota tha, to you would always go for Bajaj Auto. Bajaj had a 97% uh, hold on the entire market. So, if 100 scooters were sold, then 97 scooters were belonged to uh, Bajaj Autos, right? So that was how the entire market was, and they were they were in a sense that you know I have a 10 year waiting period. So, if anyone wants to buy a Bajaj scooter, if your father wants to buy you a Bajaj scooter when you turn 18, he should have booked the scooter when you were eight years of age. That's how long the waiting period was for the particular product to be delivered. very strong no marketing needed there used to be jokes around that time ki bachcha paida hota hai mummy papa bole na bole bajaj zarur bole they will always say hamara bajaj right so that was the way that things were dealt with at that time 9192 when the government opened up the economy and we started inviting other companies or other uh, you know outside outside companies to come in um suddenly the entire market now suddenly had a range of bikes coming into picture you know uh, snazzy looking good bikes motor bikes motorcycles that started coming into the uh, into the market now let's say let's assume all of you all out here are maybe 18 19 years of age 20 years of age and your father wants you to get a uh, two wheeler and your father says ki beta aapke paas do option hai ya to aap bajaj ka scooter khareed sakte ho ya aap kawasaki ka bike khareed sakte ho what will you go ahead and buy what would you want your father to buy yes i will explain brito i will come to entrepreneurship as well 
yes what would you what would you go and uh, respond to your father whether you, will you take a bajaj automobile will you take a bajaj scooter or will you take a kawasaki bike very nice someone said scooter you're one of the many out there i'm still waiting for others to go ahead and uh, respond yes will you go for a scooter or will you go for the bike you are 19 20 years of age it's your birthday gift your father says ya to scooter ya to bike brito says bike what else bike asta says bike all right what else where are the others where are the others so most of you all have answered as bike which is natural because bike looks cooler it doesn't make that phat 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 wala sound it makes you look much more cooler you're a young guy and so on and so forth right so most people would obviously go for a bike and that's what happened to bajaj as well suddenly sales fell down from 97% of the market share it went down to 65 66 67% and naturally they lost hold of the market so rahul bajaj the chairman of bajaj at that time decided we need to do changes and so on and so forth so long story short lot of things happened and they finally decided to introduce something called as the bajaj pulsar a bike which had to compete with the others as well now when they are creating this bike when they are creating this product what do you think are the thought process is going on hum kis kis cheez se ye bike bana rahe the aapne bike banaya there is a design aspect to it yes so someone will have to design the bike in a manner that it becomes snazzy it doesn't attach itself to the older scooter wala thought process yes um so that is one part what else what are the other aspects that someone will have to think aap ye product create kar rahe ho what are the other things that the person will think one is the design part what else i have already covered design give me the others yes anyone on the call anyone on the session what are the other things jo aapko bike banane ke liye chahiye yes anyone else okay i see some typing in errors of um, psychology why do you need psychology because you need to understand ki samne wala kya soch raha hai what is my there is a psychology element to it because you have to understand your customer and then build the bike accordingly right then you have functionality how does the bike function what are the features what are the things that is an engineering brain that is working on to it um then you have to build up on the pricing how do you price it how much would be the bike costing all of that will be your economist's work then you have to figure out whether the bike will create any profit or not that is the finance guy's work so what i'm trying to also impress upon here is when you take up any product design product development anything in the world requires you to have a multidisciplinary approach you have to have a perspective where you can combine different disciplines and any degree any undergraduate program at your level at least since all of you are in school right now any undergrad course that gives you the opportunity that you can go and combine different subjects there are very few universities in india but all of them are really good you should look for those particular aspects and look for such courses okay now what this has also done is so much interdisciplinarity so much um, you know so much uh, combinations of various particular fields have come through that there are also new age careers that have come in what are the new age careers students in sciences students from a biology background for that matter can look at outside of medicine outside of mbbs outside of being a doctor or a dental surgeon or bds you could look at segments like healthcare you could look at uh, specializations or other subject areas of study like public health or or hospital administration i think these are areas that are picking up really really well uh, all of us know that during covid one of the strongest situations that we faced and the most uh, you know most disturbing situations that we faced was the state of the country's healthcare systems and there is a lot of now investment into that i think post that from the government's perspective as well even at the private end there is just a lot of investment lot of focus that is being done on strengthening our healthcare system strengthening our public health system and therefore there is a large demand that the entire country is seeing for public health professionals fun fact again uh, the dean at uh, rishihood for the school of healthcare also happens to be part of the medical council uh and one of the things that he mentioned is that anju you know a lot of things whether you go for a bds or for a regular mainstream program in medicine 
people don't realize that a lot of them, unless and until you don't do it from the top three, top four, top five institutions of the country, students are not going to get um, employed because there is not a lot of demand for that. There's a lot of supply, but we don't have a lot of demand. Having said that, when you look at professionals like public health professionals, when you look at careers like hospital administration, I think careers that fetch you a very handsome career as well at the end of your undergrad. So for bio students, go beyond just medicine and medicine. Look at microbiology, uh, look at biotech as well. so many areas that you can look at. Similarly, for students who are in, in PCM, people who are in the mainstream science backgrounds, engineering, yes, you want to do engineering, fantastic. Please aim for the best in the country. Like I mentioned, very few, you know, uh, a very, it's, it's a very small percentage of students who are actually employable and you should be aware of those realities. What will help you within engineering is do not restrict yourself to only mechanical or only civil or only electrical and so on and so forth. Just watertight specializations, don't look for that. Look for institutions that are able to combine humanities and liberal arts into your engineering programs as well. Most engineers in the country move on to do an MBA or move into fields like design and creativity and likewise because they know that there is relevance on those particular fields. So be aware of that. A lot of colleges are combining subjects of engineering like robotics and then putting in also psychology aspects. They're also introducing, uh, apart from computer sciences, they're also introducing multiple other factions of understanding people, sociological concepts into the engineering degree because it helps you understand things holistically. For people who are creative, whether you're sciences, whether you're commerce, whether you're arts, whether you're whatever stream, if you creative, hai, I think creative careers are the best to go for currently. Because please understand, we are being controlled by AI everywhere. There's a lot of AI coming in. Chat GPT is there. If you haven't studied it, please go and read about it. Chat GPT is a phenomenal AI tool where people are using to write documents, people are using it to write research papers and so on and so forth. I think AI is um, sleeping on, it's become a part of our lives. But having said that, that artificial intelligence or that particular technology can grow only when you have creative professionals at the helm of it. So anyone who is into creativity, anyone who likes, uh, uh, you know, who, who gets bored easily doing certain aspects, or unko naya cheez ko chahiye chahiye, look at creative careers, social media management is into uh, in, is in uh, demand. Digital marketers are in demand. I mean, I have one of my friends who is a prop stylist. She's, she's, uh, it's part of art direction. Uh, Bollywood is today one of the world's largest consulting organizations. You have image consultants. You have consultants who can work on understanding which are the programs you should go. How do you build your entire image as well? You have prop stylists. You have art directors. So many fields that you can sort of Figure out that brand strategists are different, visualizers are different. Design ka aapke paas thoda baut hai. Experience aap ek bachelor's in design program karte hai. You can become a product designer. You can become a fashion and textile designer. You can become an interior architect. You can also become a communication designer. When I'm communicating to you, how can I make it more creative? Can I use videos? Can I use reels? Look at your, your own timelines. If I ask any of you, if you sit for how long you can sit for? Maybe at a stretch, you can put in 15 minutes of concentration, right? Or 20 minutes of concentration, or maybe half an hour of concentration. But you look at yourselves when you are consuming content on Instagram. Ab real peril, real peril, real peril, scroll karte jal jate, and you never know that you've already spent two to three hours because that content, that presentation, that communication of that content is that interesting. Communication designers work on that. So there are multiple careers. Someone, uh, there are students who asked me questions on the Q&A box about LLB. Okay. So then you have a confusion on LLB and MBBS. There are very, very vast differences between both of them. Uh, naturally for an MBBS, you have to be extremely clear with your biology concepts, with your science backgrounds, and you have to be clear that you have to become a doctor. That's about it. But if you think you have an argumentative personality, you have a personality where up you will analyze it you will try and understand logic what is the logic that the guy is using why has he come to this conclusion are there areas of improvement if you can critically analyze a certain argument then i think law is the career for you 
Law is a fantastic career. Recession or no recession, you always require lawyers. And I think now with corporate law coming into picture, with so many other uh, you know verticals under law, zaruri nahi hai ki aap kala court pen ke court ke bahar rahein. There are multiple areas that you can sort of explore as well. So if you're looking at law, I would strongly advise please look at law as a full time program. Uh, or if someone, let's say, if your family or likewise you're not able to go in for a full time program. then maybe look at institutions where you can do healthcare programs with maybe legal studies aap healthcare ke programs kariye mainstream mbbs nahi hoga healthcare ke programs karo and maybe you can take subjects like legal studies as a minor and so on and so forth right uh, someone wanted to brito wants to know please explain about entrepreneurship guys if you have questions please just uh, put it in the q and a box and i will just keep taking them entrepreneurship brito is something that is required by everybody today whether you're a commerce student art student science student whichever career that you be you be a civil engineer you want to become a government official you want to get into the armed forces uh, you want to get into business whichever field that you go you have to be an entrepreneur when i say entrepreneur it doesn't really mean ki aapko khud ka hi business start karna hai if you can do that nothing like that because i think entrepreneurship as an area has so much potential we have such a large population and if we have more people who are job creators then i think it always works very well for us right uh, so entrepreneurship definitely yes is a career there are a lot of courses which are focused on entrepreneurship as well wherein you get incubation support aapko mentorship milta hai a lot of people who are experts jo khud se invest karte hain jo badi badi companies chalate hain uh, jo venture capitalists hain in these particular programs there are a lot of bba programs like i think at rishud as well for the school of entrepreneurship our bba program the entire focus is on ensuring that you become an entrepreneur either immediately after the program or maybe 4 5 years down the line you have incubation support i'll support you with material i'll support you with the space that you can work in and a lot of mentorship as well but for those jinko pata hai ya kahin se lagta hai ki main ya business start hi nahi kar sakta hu i cannot go and start my own business for you people please understand you have to be entrepreneurial in your mindset your thinking has to be entrepreneurial you cannot go into the working world whether as a corporate employee or as a government employee or as an entrepreneur um whichever way you cannot go into the working world saying that my boss has given me five things and i'm going to do only these five things and that's about it it will not work you will not grow beyond a certain point of time you have to be someone who's initiative driven you have to be someone who's ownership driven you have to be someone who can think of newer ideas at all times and can innovate once you're able to do these things i think you develop an entrepreneurial mindset already so how do you approach businesses how do you take accountability a lot of these are showcased in a lot of programs which are very strong in entrepreneurship do entrepreneurship boot camps bahut sare colleges mein entrepreneurship boot camps alag se hote hain when it's a two day boot camp three day boot camp you know accelerator courses where they talk to you about how do you develop an entrepreneurial mindset you can start doing all of that right now when you are in your school as such uh divas wants to know upsc uh divas upsc is for people who have a lot of patience and a lot of focus and concentration naturally it's one of the most coveted exams there are more than 40 lakh people who give the exam for various positions and um, you have to understand that that competition is not something which is easy to take at the end of the day upsc also requires a certain maturity from your end aapke paas ek maturity honi chahiye to handle an administrative role as well right so if you want to prepare for upsc you start off now do your graduation pick up a graduation program in psychology in humanities and social sciences and public policy leadership economics these are the sort of undergrad courses that you should go in for and slowly build your profile towards the upsc as well if you do not get into the upsc agar aapne exam diya clear nahi hota hai then look at masters programs in public leadership public policy i think these areas economic affairs again these are the areas that will give you some uh, focused exposure into the administrative into the civic society part of the country uh with that i think i don't think i don't see any uh, any other questions out here i'm hoping that others in case if you have questions you can put in uh, as a suggestion since most of you are in not in grade 12 you're in grade 11 10 9 i have a suggestion please look forward for participating this is the time that you need to build your profile please understand i've been doing 
college admissions for about 15 years now, both for international universities and Indian universities. Um, the way that we look at students, the way that we you know, pick out students has changed drastically. Earlier, at the start of my career, if someone told me that you have to pick up a student, very simple. I would check up their 10 standard marks, 12 standard marks, and I'll say, okay, fine. This kid has 95 plus. I will take him in. Someone else has a 50 plus or so 55 plus. I will not take him. That's how we used to go ahead and, uh, you know, close admission. But now I think there is, since the focus is on holistic development, since the focus is on one person having so many thought processes and perspectives, um, even admissions processes have changed. So if someone has a 95 plus, fantastic. But what are the other things that you're doing? If a student has only 70, 75, but is a national level player at a sport or has done multiple social uh, initiatives or has taken pains to know more about the subject that they want to get into by certifications, by workshops, by boot camps, by summer programs, if you've participated in all of this, it helps you build your profile, your candidature becomes stronger and you will be easier. It'll be easier for you to get into a good university. We have more than 40,000 colleges and 1,000 universities in India, but not all of them are good. So I don't think the problem is that I will get university in the university or not. That is not the problem. The problem is that am I able to choose the best university for me? So please start building your profile. Uh, there is a concept called as a summer school, a summer immersion program. Uh, these are short courses. These are one-week programs, 10-day programs, 14-day programs that are run by universities. So, for example, at Rishihood, we are doing our Indic summer school somewhere between the 4th of June to 10th of June. So, it's a one-week residential course. Register for that. IEUs may go ahead, um, you know, do courses. There will be multiple areas that the university focuses on. The university will focus on building your creative side, will uh, focus on building your academic side. There'll be sessions for spirituality. There'll be sessions for sports, multiple things. There are industry exposure sessions with guest lectures and so on and so forth. One entire week, you get the, uh, you know, you get the exposure to how a residential life in a university looks like. Because people at the college level, faculty at the college level is looking for very, very different things altogether, right? So what happens in school may not be completely relevant in your college as well. So understand that the moment you do one or two summer schools, in India, five or six universities offer a summer program. Rishud offers a summer program. Flame University in Pune offers a summer program. Uh, I think Shivnadar offers a summer program. Uh, you have Plaksha that offers a summer program. You have Ashoka that offers a summer program. Panche the universities and maybe Satya Art Hunge who offer a proper residential summer course that is made or that is built up so that you get exposure to different disciplines. You will do sessions in psychology. You will do sessions in healthcare. You will do sessions in entrepreneurship, build your own product, make your own thing, you do sessions in design, get an exposure to everything. Once you do this, you will yourself get clarity Maybe I think that my psychology is brilliant, I psychology to go to psychology. But when I do a summer camp, I realize when I do the summer school program, I realize that maybe my inclination is more towards creativity. Maybe my inclination is more towards business. So if that is the case, you can go ahead and explore and accordingly plan your college admissions. Always remember, college admissions, you should prepare at least one year in advance. So if most of the good universities in country, whether it's Ashoka, Flame, Rishihood, any university that you pick up, for me, for 2023 admissions, students who are looking to apply in 2023 for my undergrad and postgrad programs, my admission started in 2022, one year earlier. So you have to plan. Don't wait for the 12th board. number That will not help you because you will only be left with leftover universities, which may not really help you in your academic career. So plan your career well. Talk to us. We are career counselors at the end of the day. Um, get guidance from us on what are the sort of certifications, what are the sort of things that you do. Every student who applies to Rishihood, whether for an undergrad program or a summer school program or a postgrad program, I make sure that my students go through something called as a catalyst program, just may hum log paan, chhe, saat, art counseling sessions karate hai on various topics. There'll be topics which are related to careers, there'll be topics which are related to mental health, well being. There are uh, topics which are related to, uh, you know, what sort of certifications, how do you build your profile for a college admission, everything put together.
take the benefit for all of these. Once you take the benefit for all of these, then you will be able to take the guidance and build a good, strong college application. So I think that's my only advice to all of you all here. Um, I'm just checking up if there are any questions. Hushi wants courses in IIT. I think Hushi, that depends totally on what are you looking at. I mean, there is mechanical, there's civil, there's electrical. There are so many other newer uh, areas of engineering as well that even IITs have introduced. But having said that, please just don't go by the brand name. Look for which IIT are you going for. For example, with all due respect, IIT Kharagpur is the you know is the oldest IIT that we have, but the students do not get enough industry exposure because they are in Kharagpur. Mein. That is why year on year, the best IITs that IITs also produce are either IIT Madras or IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi. Yehi teen hamesha top three mein rehte Others in IIT Roorkee, IIT somewhere else, IIT Jamnagar, IIT God knows whichever places. You also need to look at what are the parameters with which you are selecting a university. Your parameters should be number one, where is the college located? Where is the institution located? Fine. Kaisa ecosystem hai? Agar mera college Bagalpur mein hai ya Gwalior mein hai, jahan pe industry hi nahi hai, where there is no particular industry, there are no companies, how will I get industry exposure? How will I get the companies, best of the best people to come in and talk to me, right? So your colleges have to be in larger ecosystems like Delhi NCR, like Bangalore, like Bombay, like Pune, like Hyderabad and so on and so forth. So look for those colleges. Secondly, do I, do I have a residential program? Do I have a residential college, residential uh, university? Why residential? Because if you go to the morning and go to the morning, then you've, you've completely cut off. Good universities will ensure that 70% of your learning happens outside the classroom. 30% happens inside the classroom, which means 70% is happening through assignments, through group projects, through works that you're doing with your peers, with your people, with your, uh, you know, batchmates. And because it's a residential university in a larger ecosystem, naturally, if I put everyone from Delhi into one college, what will happen? Everyone's thought process is the same, no? Everyone writes the, likes the same cholewala, everyone likes the same sort of uh, thought process and finance. Everyone has the same thought process in terms of watching movies, everything put together. What will you learn then? So you have to be in residential campuses, which draw students from different parts of the country. At Rishiwood for the 22 batch, I have students from 26 different states, right? From Assam, Guwahati to God knows where and all, to Nepal, to Africa, to everywhere put together. So imagine the sort of, um, you know, imagine the sort of learning that you will have when you talk to people from different backgrounds and get their perspectives as well. So look for location, look for residential things, look for how many industry exposure, what are the things, who are the people who are coming in, Korn hai aise log, kaun se industry ke log hai? And, and completely holistic, not just industry, other people from media, other people from sports, other people from business, other people from technical backgrounds, other people from spirituality, are all of these people coming together to give different perspectives? That is how you will learn, that is how you will network, and build your entire, uh, you know, perspective. One of my very senior colleagues in the past used to say that undergraduation is like marriage. Do it late, but don't do it wrong. So please take a break if needed after 12th standard if you do not have clarity, but choose the right path for yourself. And yes, like I mentioned, in case if you all want to, my, my numbers are put up on the chat box. If you wish to uh, go ahead and uh, send me a text, send me a brief about yourself, maybe 100, 200 word on what are your... Who are you? What are your hobbies? What are your interests? What are your career confusions? And I will have my counselors get in touch with you to try and see how we can help you out. Do explore the summer school program. We have some application fee waivers on the summer school uh, program. So in case if you'd like to look at that, you could avail about everything else as well. And with that, I think I've come to more or less the question answers end. Thank you so much. If you all have any questions, please do write into us on my numbers. Um, Reach out to me anytime on WhatsApp and I will be very, very glad to uh, host you. And looking forward to seeing a lot of you during the summer school programs or whichever. Just if you want to walk up to the campus at Rishihood at Sonipat and just take an entire tour, do let us know. I'd love to have a career counseling talk with you there as well. Thank you so much. It's been lovely talking to all of you. Bye-bye.